How's it going? Kira and I, hi. hi, I've just finished going through the seed tins out the back here, or seed buckets, and we've decided on a couple of seeds that we want to try growing this spring uh, slash summer, warm season. We already have a couple of trays of seedlings out. We have some bullshorn capsicum. We also have some egg-sized white eggplants. And what else have we got? We've got some Thai Gorilla tomatoes, some Black Russian tomatoes, and some yellow, sort of like a mini Roma or mini egg yellow tomato. They're all from our own saved seeds. They're out the back there, going along quite nicely at the moment. And we also have a whole heap of yak on, and some ginger, turmeric, and also water chestnuts on the go at the moment as well. So these, though, are the seeds that we plan on planting over the next couple of months. Some of them will go in straight away, and others will go in at other times. So. To begin with, we've got some potatoes over the back. They're actually store-bought potatoes that have started to get some nice groovy looking eyes on them. So they're going out into a couple of wicking barrels I have over there I'm just making up. I'm going to have one last crack at it. I've said that a couple of times now, but I'm pretty impressed with the way the plants out the front are going. So I'll have another crack. And as for the seeds themselves, we'll start with the leafy greens. We have over here a bright light silver beet, or basically a rainbow chard. We have some purple auric. We sowed some of this out a while back, but it didn't do anything, so we're going to have another crack. Tatsoi. Leaf aramath. We've had um, aramath before, just the wild one that grows here. I've thrown that into salads. Uh, the girls didn't complain, so I thought I'd have a crack at a proper leaf variety. We also have some perpetual spinach. Thank you very much, Norel. Um, some festival lettuce, not sure what that one's going to turn out like yet. That's just from a new seed supplier we found in Western Australia. We'll have a go at them and see what they turn out like. We have our own saved coral lettuce seeds. Um, we're a couple of generations into this and it seems to be going really well. We've got a couple of nice plants out in the aquaponics and the soil garden at the moment. We have some Egyptian spinach, a great subtropic or tropic area or region leafy green. This rocket was gifted to us by Dave down at Grafton. Thank you very much, sir. We also have some Chinese celery that friends bought for us. Thanks, Mark and Alison. These guys will be going into the aquaponics along with some other celery. The celery we've got in the aquaponics is just booming at the moment, the best we've ever grown, so that'll definitely be going in there. Some of our saved burgundy okra seeds, that'll be going out. Also have some parsley, that's um, stuff that we've saved. Cumin, never tried cumin. I love it as a spice, it's one of my favorite spices. That shall be going out. These guys, the watermelon radishes, we had them in the aquaponics, but they didn't do too crash hot. I think I left them in there a little bit too long and the flavor was a bit meh, so so. So we thought we'd have a shot in the soil beds and just for a quick crop and see what they're like there. Beetroot, growing a few beetroot, we love this stuff, cooked and raw. We're growing a bull's blood and we're going to finish off the white beetroot. The last lot of this was killed by nematodes, so it wasn't killed, but it was just yeah, so deformed we didn't bother eating it. But, so we'll give that a crack. We got some Detroit beetroot from a new supplier and also finish off the touch touchstone gold. So really happy with the way in particular the bull's blood's going in the aquaponics at the moment. It's looking really good. Some capsicum, seven colour mix. We planted this last year and out of the half a dozen plants we planted we ended up with yellow and chocolate capsicum. So we're going to have another crack at these and see if we can get some different um, capsicums to come through. They say here they got chocolate, purple beauty, uh, what else, white diamond, yellow, Maconi, Chinese giant, Cubanelle, and orange bell so we'll just see what germinates out of this lot bit of a lucky dip over here to the cucurbits we've got our saved spaghetti squash they'll be going in we have some this is a bush crop cucumber we tried some of these half-heartedly at the end of summer but they just didn't do much where i planted them so i'm going to give them a proper shot now and of course the gimpy gold these guys i'm thinking about growing over the top of the chook pen this year um yeah we'll just see how they go they, they definitely like to climb. We had a really nice harvest last year until the aphids got to them, so we'll, we'll just see how they go. More cucurbits. We're not too sure on the um, watermelons yet because I have some stars and moon coming up from Peter in South Australia. Thank you very much, sir. But we might try the yellow shipper. And also, we will try these guys again. The girls love these. These were a little small round watermelon, mini Lee. And they probably grew to what? 
Could you eat a whole one for an afternoon tea? Mm, just over. Just over half. So they, they pretty much all were just halving a watermelon. They're only about, oh, what, probably about 20 centimetres at the most, uh, 8 inches across. So they're a nice little watermelon. Over the back here we have our glass bead corn. That's that funky multicoloured one. Um, there's loads of pictures on Facebook groups and all that sort of stuff about this stuff. Someone was claiming it was genetically engineered. It's not. Food just looks amazing. Um, also too, some Aztec corn. So I think the Aztec corn will be going out into the front gardens. Over here we have a few oddities that I haven't tried. This is our we'll, we'll see how she goes basket. Strawberries, never grown strawberries successfully from seeds, deliberately. We've had strawberries full and rot in pot plants and sprout, but we've never actually grown from seeds. So we're gonna try this white sole wild strawberry, see how they go. Also too, from a very lovely birdie. Um, I'm sure she wants to give me a hug. Um, she sent me these seeds here. These are pineapple seeds. If you search YouTube, you'll actually find clips on people growing pineapples from seeds. Um, I have been told apparently you can't, but you know, there are people who do and have, so we're gonna give these guys a shot and see what happens. Uh, pepper Campot. These are a Cambodian pepper. We were talking to someone, I think it was Dave, again from Grafton, about um, Thai peppercorns, finishing off the, or rounding out the flavour in Thai curries. This is the closest I could find, and they're actually sold as a spice to add into food, but they're vine ripened and sun dried, so I'm hoping that their berries are actually viable. So I'm going to plant some of these, and we'll see how they go, see if we can grow a pepper vine. If not, we've got loads of pepper to throw in our curries. New Guinea bean. Um, it's a bit of an interesting looking gourd. We'll just see how that one goes. I don't know if we'll definitely have enough space for this one. We'll just see. And also too, one that I should have already planted out, but I accidentally <laughs> sowed the wrong seed out. Um, this is Taggart's Minuta, also known as black mint. It's a crop grown in South America and they make a, um, a mint paste or a mint sauce out of this. Apparently it's really nice. Most know it by the name of Stinking Roger. When I was a kid, we used to pull this stuff out as a weed and it's got a very, very full on fragrance to it. So I will be growing some of this as an edible crop, but the other purpose that you grow it is to kill nematodes. Apparently this is one of the marigold families that you can dig through, or Taggart's family, that you can dig through the soil and will definitely kill marigolds, but I'm going to grow some for seed and for culinary purposes. So thank you very much, Deb, for sharing these with me. And I'm so sorry I haven't got to plant them out yet. Like I said, I had a bit of a, a brain, brain melt and I planted the wrong seeds out, so anyway. So there you go, there's a bit of a look at the seeds we've selected to plant out for this spring, summer, all well, the warm weather crops here. So if you do have any comments, questions, suggestions, just pop them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. Other than that, that's it from me and Kira. Bye. So, cool. Have a great one and take it easy all. Catch ya.